good, my friends. In today's video, we are going to build a foundry out of a, this bucket. We are going to use some fireproof blocks. We are going to use fireproof concrete and some pipes and tubes. And then we are going to melt some aluminum. This will be the foundry camera, so we will put the pot here, heat it, and then melt the metal, and we can subtract it from here. And pour. The first thing that we have to do is to make a hole in one of the, bri the bricks so we can insert the air and the flame inside. We are going to make a hole of 25 centimeters there. We have to proceed very carefully because this is very fragile, so be careful. We are going to make the hole this way so we can enter the tube in with inclination. <laughs> Okay, it took me 10 minutes, but the bridge is intact and we can put the tube through this hole. Now we are going to cut one of the bricks in half. Remember, safety number one priority. Now we insert the brick with the hole there to see more or less where the hole of the bucket has to be done more or less here we have to do the bucket but we are not going to do it in this we are going to do it maybe here nice hole now i'm going to prepare the fireproof concrete if you want to see how to prepare concrete you can watch the video on how to prepare red concrete with the with the concrete machine or you can watch the video of how to build a cross line and there I prepare a concrete with the pallet. We are going to start to build the furnace for that one. We are going to pour some water in the bucket. We put the water through the walls of the bucket. So this way everything is wet. This way the concrete will get to the walls. We put some some concrete here. A basement of concrete. Before putting any brick, we put it first in water. It drank a lot of water, it's very porous. We place the first brick in the bottom. Good. Now we are going to mount the structure of the camera of the furnace. Okay, we put some concrete there because we need some concrete to get a stack the other bricks. This is the first we put here to adjust with the tube. More or less there.
And now we start to fill the bucket with concrete. Okay, we have to find a way to hold this tube here. Okay, I have mounted this device here. We start to put more concrete on the furnace. We should use a stick to put the concrete to don't have holes inside. Now the bucket is full of concrete. Now we are going to build a cap for the top of the foundry. To build the cap I'm going to use this pan as a mold, it's a old one, this uh, glass. Okay, I almost forget. Let's place two handles there so we can remove after the, the cap. Okay, it's two weeks later, I think it's ready. We are going to heat it for the first time, very slow, not too much, and then we can measure some material. First we are going to cut these tubes here because it's too long. For the gas installation I'm going to use this 8mm steel bar, I'm going to pinch the end so I have a, a small exit hole look at this we are going to try like this I have here one butane cap I connect the tube in the other side and now I'm going to screw this very tight it's the simplest installation for the button that I have found. Now we are going to test if we are leaking button from this side. Okay, no linkage, and we are going to cut the thing. Perfect. We put the gas. Now we are going to hit this for the first time. So we are not going to add extra, extra ventilation or something. We place the bar there and we are going to fix it here like this. It's fine. And let's turn the fire on. We place the cup in there. Maybe there is too much fire. We are going to adjust the flame. Okay, the air blower is in position. Look. Look at the flame. So hot. We are going to get some aluminium from this plate and we are going to put it in the crucible the crucible is ready remember safety is number one
Look at this. Beautiful. Very good, my friends. It had worked the foundry. We had malsum, aluminium, as you can see. I think it's the easiest and cheapest design that we can do to do to have a homemade foundry. Take a look to the next video in the car because we are going to make a mold for the foundry. So I hope this video has been useful to you. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.